This is a uh, Chevrolet Captiva. It's a two liter VCDI LS five door, 2010 on a 10 plate. Um, it has done 38,307 miles. Two registered owners. It has an MOT until the 4th of June 2018. And the fuel economy, uh, urban is 32.1, extra urban 45.6 and uh, combined is 39.2 not 60 time of 10.8 seconds and a top speed of 114 miles per hour nice and uh, tidy handy vehicle i've got to say i've uh, i don't think i've ever seen one of these before <laughs> but uh, i do drive around with my eyes shut so let's just see have we got So that's just height adjustable steering wheel, not reach. Five speed gearbox. We've got five spoke alloy wheels. And uh, let's try and get my bearings first of all. Power folding door mirrors. Electrically operated. Yep, yeah, that works. Passenger one works too. Not like we've just got a brake drag in, which we'll sort out. It's usually because they've just been power washed and the discs go a little bit rusty quite quickly. Got a height, sorry, a height adjustable seat here. Do we going down a bit further? There we go. So nice and roomy vehicle. So far, pretty nice to drive, but uh, this is the first time I've obviously I've ever driven one. We've got front central armrest with uh, storage space in there. A little padded place for perhaps your phone or stuff you don't want to get scratched and then a, a big space in the middle two cup holders we've got uh, electric windows remote central locking another uh, cubby hole here which flips up CD radio, air conditioning, a power socket here, driving position it's uh, suppose MPV style four-wheel drive style up off the uh, ground elevated it's finished in black with charcoal cloth pattern center panels We've got this brushed aluminium effect uh, on the steering wheel the side of the radio gear tunnel and also on the door handles here. Nice display. Rev counter on the left. Speedo on the right and your fuel gauge and temperature gauge in the middle along with your uh, mileometer. Car's only just come in in need of a, a good hoover out, but is a, a pretty um, pretty solid car.
whole lot of time today so um, just take you up the country lanes Box, nice handling. Brakes nicely in a straight line, no wobbles from the disc, no noises. We've got uh, fitted over mats in. Radio here. This is the best way of securing job. In 98. In your region. All talking and garbage music. So 
plenty of luggage space in this uh, vehicle. Um, <laughs> this month's time, of course, it's come in, it had fuel in, and it's got road tax on for a couple of days until the yellow slip goes in. Um, so at the moment, it's full of horse feed in the back. I think there's four big bags of horse feed, and there's still plenty more room. nice to drive on this uh, very bumpy and potholy road and I know we only got it in um, yesterday I think it was put it on the internet and we've already had a strong inquiry on it so uh, even though I didn't know anything about them uh, they're obviously uh, popular with great value for money today so just trying to get this uh, driving quickly yep rear wiper works fine front's good too are fine. Really nice gearbox, nice and smooth. Clutch is nice and light. GL there, two and a half thousand revs in fifth gear. I think the car would benefit from new wiper blades. <laughs> okay, I'm sure the car would benefit from new wiper blades. Certainly your ears would.
Now the reason I don't go that way, which is probably the way you should, the amount of times I've been coming around there and somebody's been coming that way to go to the dual carriageway and they've come around on the wrong side of the road, um, pretty scary. Nobody turns that way, so before you put any comments on the video, that's the reason, experience. Very pleasant to drive, make a great daily user. I think I'm right in saying that the previous owner had just bought it to uh, used to go on holiday abroad um, every year. Hence the reason for the huge luggage space and Anybody could possibly listen to that, especially in the UK. If you're in Italy or somewhere, you, you probably wouldn't need your wipers very often, but you need them at least once a day in the UK. Anyway, the positives are it's great to drive, it's got a good heater. Nice and comfortable. And the wipers stop you falling asleep on the motorway. Somebody just shoot me. sudden uh, downpour will have put this chap's fire out down the road here so all the motorists can see again and everybody can breathe. by the look of it. That's it anyway, a quick drive today. <laughs> 